Good morning, guys, YouTube people, world. We saw the video yesterday. You see, I put the headlights in. Um, I don't know if I like them. I don't know if I like the black. Um, but it is what it is. Maybe it'll look better once I get the. I'm gonna order a new front bumper and uh, probably paint the grill. I'll probably paint the grill first because um, it's going to be a while to order a bumper and then I'll end up painting that lip down there. So yeah, yesterday's video having a problem with this high beam in here. Um, anyway, I'll have to tackle that. I'll take the grill off and tackle that when I do the delete. But right now I'm gonna go prep to do some uh, diesel exhaust deleting. D E D. Oh, so basically, all I do is I'm gonna come in here, spray all these holders with some WD-40. Yeah, because it's always good to keep water out. Uh, hmm, let's see. Oh, this one here. Um, it's always better to probably spray, spray this side of it. Oh, that's the side that has to come off. I find WD 40 works the best. Um, I've used, uh, penetrating oil, penetrating fluid, oh, and, uh, that just doesn't seem to work as good. So, I'm just gonna, ah, oh, I can't get in there. I'm just gonna spray all those down. And then, yeah, and then this will all be different. I guess I should spray some of these. Maybe this one over here. This probably is better with some PB Blaster. Um, but whatever, I'm down here. This probably will not come off. I'm going to try it anyway and hope that those lines will come off. Because I'd rather have the lines off and separate. Because, I don't know if you guys watch any of the other videos, but I like to store my stuff. And, we'll, uh, I don't know, containers. Just to keep it out of the element. So I'm spraying all the, basically all the hardware. Anything that I need to take off, i spray. I do have a gasket set on order. One under here. Um, while I'm down here, might as well check my drive shaft and everything. The joint looks good. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm just hosing all these down. I gotta hose all the bolts. Like I said, um, and then uh, I'll come back in and have to start doing all the connectors, take all the connectors off, and uh, and yeah, go from there. So I just wanted to show you guys a little prep work that you got to do. Um, oh, she's. Probably don't need this one done, but whatever, why not? So, all right, that's pretty much it. So I'll just show you guys. You got to take this V-band off up here somehow. Um, I had mine spun to where I could have access to it, so I'm gonna have to find a way to get in there and loosen it. I'm gonna see where it's at. Oh, it's way over here. 
So now you gotta take that off. You gotta take these two bolts out for this exhaust hanger. Um, you don't have to, I do. Um, I gotta drop these two bolts out of the cross member. One bolt out on that side so that I can pivot this to get this out. These three bolts, um, those three bolts, and then I gotta try to slide it and separate it. Free <coughs> hard pellet stove's choking me out. Um, but yeah, while I'm under here, I'm just checking stuff out. Just any time you get under a vehicle, just check stuff out. Oh, and you have to disconnect these hoses. Um, either disconnect this whole thing. Or, uh, you have to disconnect one of these connectors. It's kind of hard to get in here. And this sensor right here is very brittle. So what I do is I just connect the hoses down here. Disconnect these hoses. Then slide those tubes off. And then leave the sensor there. So, anyway, let me get to it. Let me uh, get out of here and get some tools. I probably won't show you guys all the junk. I just wanted to show you the prep work. Um, you can watch other videos uh, of me doing exhaust because I do exhaust on these trucks all the time. So, all right. Uh, let me, yeah, let me get all under there and get it all off. And, uh, Tell you how difficult it was. Alright guys, got all this stuff out. Um, these three bolts because of the sheathing. Uh, the bottom one was pretty easy to get to. This one and the other one on the other side were a pain in the butt. And then to slide this out here out of this. And then off of that over there. Are kind of a pain in the butt. I didn't really have to slide this piece out of here. It can't, I took the whole uh, exhaust over the axle, everything. I took all that off um, with this on, but then pulled it off while I was out of the truck. But these three bolts, two bolts, were a pain in the butt. The uh, coupler up here, the band, was kind of a pain in the butt um, just because of the angle. And, yeah, the wiring, the, the harnesses, they had a lot of dirt packed in them, so it took a little bit, but it's all out. It's all off. So, show you what we got under here. How you gotta do this if you wanna take the downpipe off in one piece. So, we got the turb ski, turbo. So I just dropped this down, like I said, take one bolt out over there, loosen the other one, and then drop this down, and then uh, you got the hoses there, you got the wire there, blah blah blah, wiring here, wiring there, all the wiring, everything's gone, out from the bottom. So. Yeah, I think my face is dirty, but whatever. Oh, she's anyway. Um, yeah, so basically, you need a 15, 16. You don't need that. Use a little screwdriver to get the clips and a 5 8 uh, line wrench, so you don't need that. So, these are 16 millimeter. Um, the ones on the clamp, the clamps around the exhaust, those are 15 millimeter, WD-40, a pry bar, um, an 18 millimeter and a 21 millimeter. I use a smaller pry bar to pry the subframe down or the cross member. You can use a 14 millimeter wrench or a 14 millimeter on a socket and 11 millimeter on a socket and ratchet for the the v-band and then I use these to get the hoses those two little hoses off so this is what's going on <clears throat> so my other downpipe on the other on the 2012 this was five inches all the way so um, it's four inch steps up to five inch and then five inch all the way out so 
I'll have the five inch there. This pipe's gonna go onto there. The muffler's gonna go there. Um, and then the over axle pipes will be right there. But I might have to cut this pipe down or I might have to add in a piece. I got a couple other like 16 inch, 24 inch pieces. So anyway, um, yeah. Out with the old, in with the new. And like those guys say, bye, bye, bye. Anyway, so let me throw it all in there and make sure and get back to you. Let you know if I had to make any more modifications. All right, so I'm in need of 14, a 14 inch section of tubing pipe between there and there. That's about 10 inches between there, but I'm gonna do two inches in and two inches in. So, this is kind of a tool review in itself, I guess you could say. Um, I got this piece of pipe that has a, a female, female, and I was gonna cut it, but turns out I need male and male, so I have this piece. So, um, that's like 24 inches long. Um, so it's kind of like a tool review in itself. I ended up buying a foot pedal for the bandsaw. So anyway, yeah, so I got to cut that at 14 inches and uh, and then I'll put it in and then I'll put all the clamps on. I'm looking for one more clamp. I found this, but this is only four and a half inch. I know I have one or two more clamps somewhere, so I'll have to find one of those. Um, it's either that or get the TIG welder out and weld a pipe to a pipe. So, but I don't want to do that. Anyway, let me get back to it. Uh, yeah. Well, this foot pedal is a no-go. <laughs> it caught, basically caught on fire. Um, it's rated, it was supposed to be rated for this. It's supposed to be rated for, I think, 15 amps. And it is cooked. So, another one bites dust. So, anyway. I ended up just straight plugging it in. Um, yeah, I got my 14 inch pipe. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, let me throw it all in, button it all up, and give you a look see. Alright, guys, people, got it all done. Down pipe, polished muffler. Got that, got that. I do not like these clamps, by the way. These clamps kind of suck. So, and I don't like the way it comes out, so whatever. It is what it is. Oh, it's dirt. Um, alright. Let's see what it, what it sounds like. I haven't done the tune, so we'll have to see what it does. Shutting off because I do not have all my missions crap. System fault. So now I gotta come in here and do the tuner and do that I removed everything. So anyway, let me go ahead and uh, do all that. I will. Be back. Well, I probably won't be back. I'm just gonna do all that. So exhaust service required. See, see dealer now. So I gotta delete all that crap on the tuner. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. So that's the first start. But then I gotta go in and delete all that stuff. So all right, guys. Exhaust done. Next is another delete. Um, like I said. 
I don't like those clamps. I might try to order one, two, three, four, four uh, bands or like the other ones, the crimp style. Because I don't like the kind that bubble or bulge the exhaust because then when I have to take it off, it's a pain in the butt. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, tell me what you guys think. Are you guys as excited as I am? Minus my headache. Alright guys, later. Alright guys, back just to end this video. So, this tuner was actually a street tuner. So for the, those of you guys who don't know, street tuners are basically locked. So I was having a C dealer emissions, whatever. So I tuned, turned it back to stock, turned it back to whatever, installed the tune. And uh, yeah, this tuner was a uh, street tuner. So I bought an unlock code on eBay, unlocked the emissions, and now we're good. So here's jet mode. I'll let you guys hear jet mode. So jet mode is just exhaust brake on. Idly. Okay, so let me see something real quick. Um, Toe Street Performance. So you guys can see it says Performance Street Toe Stock which is what I'll be on. So anyway, just wanted to do a little, that little video real quick. Um, it's been about three hours in the truck, uh, researching forums, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for staying in. So all right, guys, later.